Hello and welcome to ShowMeAcademy.com. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to save spreadsheets in PDF format in Microsoft Excel 2007. Now, by default, Microsoft Excel does not come with any functionality for you to save documents or spreadsheets into a PDF format. However, there is a download that you can get from Microsoft. It's a fairly quick and painless way to increase the functionality that will in fact allow you to save as a PDF document. And because PDFs seem to become ever more common in today's workplace, a lot of times the ability to be able to send a spreadsheet to a PDF document could be very helpful for you, especially in making presentations. So let's show you here how we get that functionality. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up a web browser. I'm going to have to work in the web browser here because we're going to work, or excuse me, we're going to go to Microsoft's site uh, to find this download. Now, the quick way, if you can copy and paste it to get to this to the proper page, is to go to this address right here. Of course, that address is very long. It's not easy to remember. And it's so long, in fact, that it scrolls right off the, the address bar here when I have this on a smaller resolution. I'm going to have this here on the instructions so that you can pull it off uh, from the website while you're viewing this, this uh, video. But I will also show you kind of the quick and dirty way to get directly to that page. If you go and you search on Microsoft, this is from Google, save as PDF or XPS. Uh, I recommend that you put in that full search string because if you search just for PDF, they'll send you to a different file, which I've had problems with. So if you search for Microsoft Save as PDF or XPS, it should be the first return in your, in your Google search. From here, it'll take us back to this Microsoft page. And one of the first things it's going to make you do is it'll say continue, but then it'll tell you validation required. That's basically an automatic function that they do to validate that you have a true licensed version of, of Office running on your system. So if you click on this, now for me, this goes straight to the download. If you've never gone through this process before, you might actually get uh, an, another window that will pop up with an install option. That install option is what you will need to click on in order to run the Microsoft validation process. So if it brings you to an install window, then by all means right here, click on install. However, I'm not seeing the install window here because I've gone through this process before and they didn't need to install anything to ensure that I had valid software. Once you get to this point, go ahead and click on the download button. And from here, I'm going to click Save, because I always like to save things locally before running them. And I'll just dump this into my D drive. And you'll notice that the file is save as PDF and XPS.exe. Again, if your file just says save as PDF.exe, you're not in the right place. You want to get the one that says save as PDF and XPS.exe. So I'll save that here. And once this is done, I'm going to click on, from the Download Complete window, I'm going to click on Run. It'll say, do you want to run this software? The publisher is Microsoft Corporation. Yes, I do, so I'll click Run. And it's going to come up with the, the window here for Microsoft Save as PDF or XPS add-in for 2007 Microsoft Office programs. First, you have to click here to accept the Microsoft software license terms and click continue. And this will run pretty fast uh, and then it'll say the installation is complete. So I'll click OK. And that should be all it takes to install that feature. Once you have that feature in place, you can pull up a spreadsheet and click on your office button up here in the upper left hand corner. And from here, we're going to save as, and this time we're going to select PDF or XPS. 
And now I'm going to save this as file name. Notice this is mfl.pdf. Save as type PDF. If it, by default it will usually come up with XPS first, so you'll have to change it to PDF. And usually I leave it to open the file after publishing. And then you're going to click on publish. And now what this will do, you can see this opens as a PDF document. My entire spreadsheet has been trans transformed into a PDF document that, of course, can be opened and read by anyone else expecting to see PDF documents. That concludes this tutorial. Thank you for using ShowMeAcademy.com.